Fight Week, Invicta FC 38. Joining me right now and going to be making her promotional debut, Cynthia Sinarseo. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Doing great, doing great. So this is awesome. Long awaited. Signing with Invicta. What was that like for you? It's great. I, I'm honestly truly honored. It's uh, it's the best organization in the world for women. So, women's MMA. So I am, I am very excited. Having seen them develop as you were coming up through the amateur ranks, how big is this for you? And how long had this been a goal of yours? This is great. I mean, this is the next step. Uh, I'm very excited. Um, it's the next step of my goal. I want to keep going up. With it becoming a reality, the first fight is here. You're going to be taking on Mallory Martin. How has this camp been? It's been awesome. It's been great. It's been a long camp, um, uh, but it's been it's been awesome. I mean, no, no, nothing I can complain about. It's it's been amazing. It's been very healthy. It's been it's very strong. It's been just growing and growing constantly. So uh, I'm very very pleased. A long camp. Why a long camp? It was a long camp because uh, two opponents didn't go through. Uh, they actually said no to the fight. So, um, I mean, in the future, maybe we'll look into hopefully having those fights again. It's higher ranking fighters. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. So you're saying it took a little bit to lock in this fight with Mallory Martin. I'm sorry? It took a little bit. To be assured that Mallory Martin was going to be the opponent, it took a while to lock this one down. No, Mallory. Mallory said yes since the beginning, so I mean that's awesome. But before her, that had two other names of uh, high-ranking opponents. Oh, all right, all right. Now that it's here, what, what's the thoughts and the feelings as you head into this opportunity, this first fight with Invicta? I'm stoked. I. I, I She's a very game fighter, so um, I think it's going to be a great show. We are um, right before the co-main event, so it's going to be, and I'm sure she has the same goal as I do to make sure that we, we put on a great fight um, And because the next fight is a, is a, a championship belt to belt fight, so um, let's put on a better show. You're getting a big opportunity right there. Being in the feature fight position on your debut, did you expect to be that far up the card, that big of a opportunity? Um, honestly, you never know. I mean, I I just I, I was just happy to fight, but it, the opportunity happens. Uh, I'm super excited for it. I, I I'm always game. Now, how do you take advantage of this opportunity? How do you? introduce yourself to the UFC Fight Pass audience, to the Invicta crowd? It's going to be a great show. I'm going to go out there and give it my all. I want to show everybody how much I've grown, uh, how, how I deserve to, to keep doing good and be there. Uh, so I'm, I'm super excited. From the amateurs to just your last fight, we had seen you as a king of the cage fighter for so long. What kind of impression and memory will that promotion hold for you it was a great opportunity i mean it was my it was my first it was my start it was my beginning um and it brought upon a lot of experiences so i'm truly honestly grateful having not been in action since february what's the thoughts and process been like on improving there in the gym i haven't stopped training um it's constant growth for me uh, so it's 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 not a big uh, difference. Uh, it actually makes me more hungry. So to to want to go in there and do put on the show and and show everything that I've learned. So I appreciate everything that it takes to be in there a lot more. Does it feel? How does it feel to be where you've wanted to be? This was a long time in the making, and you've had this goal to now be a treat achieving knocking out your goals slowly but surely from the King of the Cage title to signing with Invicta. How does that feel? It feels amazing. It's it's the next step, Micah. You, you've known this. It's it's going up, up and up and becoming the best. 
and talk to us a little bit about perseverance because I know there's been a lot of it to get to this point. You know, honestly, I, I truly believe that uh, hard work pays off and it's, it's, it's all in your head. Um, it's, it's, it's the Shotokan mentality. It's, it's hard work and, and, and pushing through. It's n- never quitting, never giving up. Coming up at Invicta FC 38, we said taking on Mallory Martin. She's on a four-fight win streak, three finishes yes. on the ground. What do you think about the matchup itself? I think she's game, like I told you. Um, she She's great. Uh, so it's it's two great fighters. They're going to put on a, a, a great night, a great fight night that night. So I'm really looking forward to it. I think that's that's the best. That's the best fight is when both fighters are game. It's going to be a great show. And where do you I'm think... I'm super excited. Where do you think you got some advantages in this one? Um, in my head, my heart, I want this. This is mine. <laughs> How does that feel with it being the, the first fight there? Does it feel more pressure, more nerves either way? No, honestly, no. I think uh, I've been getting ready for this. And this is what I wanted, so I'm finally here, and I'm super excited for it. Um, I've actually been fighting for over 25 years, so all around the world, and so this is just another one of those times. You had with King of the Cage a bunch of five-round experiences. Does that take away some of the pressure of a three-round fight, having already been five rounds? Yes, definitely. Definitely. And how does that help you mentally? Uh, it, it just basically tells you that you know that you know that it can be done. Period. Um, you know that you're well trained. You're ready for anything, and um, it's just a matter of going out there and doing it. Mallory has had a couple of high profile fights. She's been on Invicta before, been LFA. Last time out on the Contender Series. Have you watched her before? Yes, yes, before. Um, I, I, I especially like to keep an eye on the, the strawweight division. <laughs> I mean, obviously. <laughs> but I just like to watch the fight. So it's, it's what I do. It's, it's part of who I am. You had mentioned your advantages. What are some things that you think she does really well? Um, she's game. She has heart. So uh, I appreciate that. I think that's, that's a great opponent. What's, Fighters want people like that, people that are that want the same thing that you do in there. And go in there and fight. Fight for it. What does it do for you taking this next step, this next level up? What is the, uh, the feeling of anticipation, the thoughts on having tougher competition? I'm excited for it. I crave it, honestly. I'm honestly very grateful um, that, that I got this opportunity. And that's all I wanted is to keep pushing up. And you know that's all I've been looking for is is fighting fighters that are up, 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 up above me. So this is awesome. Last fight was in February. How would you categorize this year? It's going to be a lot of learning. Uh, It's been a lot of learning in and out of the cage. Um, But my camp was amazing, and I'm really looking forward to it. What kind of performance should we expect to see from Cynthia Arceo on on Friday night? Better than ever. It's going to be a great show. I'm very hungry for this. Was there a point with the layoff with everything that if you didn't know that this was going to actually happen? Yes, uh, but my head game was the one that took over, so it's it's not a problem. It, It makes me more hungry. So talk to us about that that mental side, that that strength that you've had. It's not if it happens, it's a matter of when it happens. So it's just being ready and, and pushing through. It's, it's perseverance, definitely. Determination. Nobody else knows what you want but you. And go after it, period. How are you able to stay in that mind frame? It's things that we can't, there's some things that we can't control, but there is things that we can control, and that's ourselves. And that's when the opportunity pops up, you push through and you step up. 
and that's what makes the difference. If it was easy, anybody can do it, but it's not everybody's up there for a reason. What is it? What is it that drives you? That pushes you to continue? Like you said, not everybody can do this. Not everybody could get over those hurdles. I've always wanted it ever since I could remember. The, the, I don't have one reason. I have many reasons, and and it's it's my whole life around it. It, it. it surrounds it. It makes me who I am. I am a martial artist. I'm not just a fighter. I am a martial artist, and and I and I achieve my goals. How important is that for you to to display that martial artist? When I don't know if in the MMA world there's a f- whole lot of people doing that, keeping it as a true martial artist. Mm, there isn't, but uh, there's one of us that's going to make a difference, and that'll be me for sure. And, and by making a difference, what do you mean? Uh it's basically the mind game, showing everybody the, the difference that it can make. Uh, it's not, it's martial artists is not just somebody that, it's just not something that you do. It's somebody that you become. It's not, you're not just getting ready for a fight. It's a lifestyle. And then making a difference, it's not just something that you do with martial arts. It's something that you do a lot in your community, right? Yes, I do. Talk to us a little bit about you, about that. Uh, well, um, I teach martial arts, uh, after school and stuff, um, to other kids. And then, uh, I'm a sensei. And then I also, I also teach pre-K. You know, I'm a classroom teacher as well. And then also, let's hear a little bit about your, uh, your motorcycle, uh, side. I know that you like to get out there on the bike. You have another, uh, adrenaline kind of sport that you like. Yes, I guess you can always, uh, you can see it as a, I like extreme sports. Uh, I've always loved the motorcycle. Um, I love riding. It's one of my other passions. And uh, in and out of the track. Uh, so I I enjoy it to the fullest. I don't do it when I'm training for, for a fight. But as soon as I can, I get out there. <laughs> what kind of bike do you have? I have a 1198 Ducati. Is there a... Uh... A similar feeling to letting it to opening up the bike on the track versus being in your flow during a martial arts competition. Is there the same kind of feeling? There's somewhat of an adrenaline rush, but there's nothing that compares to fighting. <laughs> that that's still the first love top priority. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Friday night, we get to see that priority. Cynthia Arceo, her debut in Invicta on UFC Fight Pass. So happy for you that you've reached this point. It's great getting to talk to you again. Heard we got to let you get to your last training session. But before we do that, who do you need a shout out to? Who do you need to thank? I want to thank everybody that's been behind me, my family, my support team. I want to thank you, Micah, for being there since my amateurs. Um, I really appreciate the love and the support. Um, the, um, I actually, um, I want to thank my sponsors, uh, Gun Central, Freeway Power Sports, um, The Lunchbox, um, uh, Performance Ranch, uh, Thermal Repair, um, it, it's, it, I, I want to, pre- I appreciate all of them, they've been behind me since the beginning, and they truly believe in me, and I really appreciate that to all my fans, thank you very much, and expect a great show on Friday night. Awesome, Cynthia. Thank you for that.